My name is Professor Andrew Forsyth. I'm head of the Power Conversion Group at the University of Manchester. In the Power Conversion Group, we have 40 engineers working on a range of research projects to do with the more electric aircraft, more electric ships, electric vehicles and renewable power generation. Much of our work is done in collaboration with industry, as indeed is happening in this lab here, which is sponsored by Rolls-Royce, the famous aero engine manufacturer. This lab provides us with the facility to run tests on new electrical system concepts for future aircraft systems. We have a set of aircraft generators, a complete power distribution network, and a range of load systems which emulate the behaviour of real pieces of equipment such as actuators, fuel pumps and avionics. There are many new challenges for electrical engineers in this area. In the drive to reduce the fuel consumption and the weight of aircraft systems, traditional hydraulic and pneumatic systems are being replaced with electrical equipment. It implies much higher levels of electrical power on an aircraft and it also requires more sophisticated techniques to control and convert that electrical power. And that requires innovations in machines, power electronics and control methods. The reason I chose Manchester was because the university offered uh, this program which no other university offered and is related with electric vehicles, wind energy, solar energy, power electronics, uh, which is uh, exactly what I needed. And uh, many countries and many companies are now applying this technology in order to fight global warming and uh, trying to lower the uh, emissions of vehicles. So this is a really good opportunity to do this master's and to uh, send out with a really good master's degree. I chose this subject because uh, right now the more electric technology is becoming a fashion for aircraft and chips and vehicles. So uh, I think this was the right choice for me for my new career path. I'm at the final stage, I'm writing my dissertation. And so far has been really good because all the material given in lectures uh, was really interesting. Uh, innovative also, and all the labs and assignments included practical work, so, and I think it's crucial for this type of masters. This lab it has uh, excellent resources, digital oscilloscopes, the test rigs, they all work perfectly, and we actually could work each person as an, as an individual with each test rig, so there was available for every single student in the course to work you know, on their own. You have everything uh, that you need in order to make your, uh, your research or your projects in the university, and uh, they give everything to you. All the labs and assignments were challenging for us and sometimes we work in groups and it's really interesting when you have lectures but then you can do the practical work to see what happens in the real world. So I think that's, that's really good. The quality of the teaching, um, all of them uh, are experts on the field that they're, they're teaching the subject of and um, they always relate what they teach to what they to the experiences that, they, that they've had working outside the university. Unfortunately, right around the world, there's a serious shortage of electrical engineers with the right blend of knowledge and skills to design these new systems. To answer this problem, at Manchester, we have an MSc course in electrical energy conversion systems. The course covers fundamental principles of power electronics and electrical machines, systems engineering and modern applications. A key feature of the course is the practical experience students get in our modern laboratories. So if you have a good education in electrical engineering and you're keen to develop a career in electrical systems for vehicles, more electric aircraft, ships or renewable power generation, 
we would be delighted to welcome you onto our MSc course at Manchester.